Hello YouTube, uh, World of Tanks video today. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different though. Uh, this is just a little rant about uh, gold rounds and their use. I'm not complaining about gold rounds. Let's get that clear right away. I don't care if you fire gold rounds, fire all gold. It doesn't matter to me. What pisses me off is when people use gold when they don't have to or like they just use them all the time because they're retarded. Um, uh, let, let me start off with a little example of what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's an anecdote for me. So I'm driving my Kurnavin on Himmelsdorf. Uh, it's a it's a tier uh, nine game, which kind of sucks, but whatever. And uh, I go up to the tank destroyer alley down the middle of the city. So I'm, I'm taking shots down the alley, and then a uh, uh, nice Chinese 112 comes rolling up. Uh, 112 has a uh, basically a D25T 122 millimeter clone gun, and uh, it's got 175 pen. But then it fires uh, it fires 250 pen gold rounds, which are heat rounds. Okay, so so he he comes around the corner. I'm sitting down, basically hiding my lower plate mostly on the other side of the map. So uh, Kurnavin or excuse me 112 takes some shots at me so let's set this to 122 millimeter AP rounds uh, first couple shots hit my glacis here which is uh, 130 millimeter slope back at like 60 degrees so this is this is a no-go uh, he's got 175 penetration plus or minus 25 percent of that he's got like barely 200 pen on the highest roll possible no you can't pen this shit with that right you know, he takes shots and they like glance off my side and stuff, ricochet. Um, so naturally, he does what any uh, any scumbag premium tank driver would do, and he loads up the 250 pen heat round. See, this is 230 effective. Let's see what happens here. So he's got 250 pen. Oh, oh, 270. What? But these had two. This was not. That's because heat rounds don't normalize. This is what I'm talking about. If, your heat rounds don't normalize. See, you can even see it in the tank viewer here. Over here on the side, it says this AP shell's got five degrees of normalization if it hits this. So, um, basically, your since your AP shell digs into this armor, it actually negates this angle by five degrees when it hits. So, it's less effective armor. When you load up the heat round, it doesn't dig into the armor, so you get that full like 62 degree angle, which is like close to 300 effective. So yeah, it's actually in this scenario, it's worse to fire heat at this than it is to fire AP, and that's like a basic, a fairly basic, uh, um, game mechanic. Like he shouldn't have been, he shouldn't have loaded heat and fired at this. And then, then, then he, then he keeps heat loaded, and he fires a shot like into my side, like this. Yeah, that's gonna pen. Like, look at this. It's got crazy ass spaced armor on the side. You're not gonna pen this shit with heat. Then he fires another heat round into my turret mantle. You're not gonna pen this. If you're gonna, if you wanna pen me, just load a normal round and shoot me around the gun mantlet and it'll pen or shoot me in the lower plate the Kronovan has one of the worst lower plates in the entire game like the 112 has got a horrible lower plate and it's almost not this bad but no he, instead he's like oh you're so lucky Kronovan no you're an idiot so many people don't understand these basic normalization principles even if even if you've got like a, a IS-6 and, and you're firing your, your 217 pen APCR, uh, those rounds only normalize by, uh, by two degrees versus AP's five degrees. So it's actually worse to fire APCR at this shit too. Uh, the only time when it makes sense to fire it is if you're firing at flat armor. Like, like for instance, if we look, I drive my E75 sometimes. E75's got a crazy glacis armor and it's got decent lower plate armor. So let's find the E75 here. Okay, so you're driving your E75 and then like a I don't know, like a a uh, like a IS8 rolls around the corner. He's got his 122 uh, millimeter gun, fires AP. It's got like 265 millimeters of penetration. So he's not going to penetrate this upper plate here, of course. 
Uh, and the lower plate from this range is actually really strong because he's aiming down at it. So uh, he's like, I'll just load heat and try to shoot the... No! No! This doesn't normalize! It's more effective! It's over 300 effective, dude! You're not going to pen this with heat. Maybe you could pen the lower plate, but who cares? You could have penned that with your normal gun if you were at the right angle. Like, you might as well just shoot through the turret cheeks in that case. So it just doesn't make sense. What really pisses me off is if you come across, like, a Jagdpanzer E100. He's got, like, 300 pen, right? 300 pen with his A with his AP round, 170 millimeter AP round. So he comes up here and, like, yeah, he could pen this like on a really high roll with his AP round but you really shouldn't be shooting at this in the first place but he's got heat loaded for some reason with 400 pen and like it just doesn't make sense because it, it's like the same armor effective it doesn't even make sense to ever fire heat out of that gun because like any tank you come across save like a mouse especially at tier 10 like let's look at the IS-7 for instance let's go over here and find uh find ourselves the IS-7 all these tier 10 tanks the, the angles you bounce off of, you're not bouncing, you're ricocheting off this shit. Because this angle's insane. Like, look at this, it's a ricochet with uh, AP rounds, unless you hit it, like, here right in the middle. And that's, like, 330 effective. So don't fire heat at this, because you're not going to pen, it's impossible. You're hitting this at a 70 degree angle. If you're not normalizing with, with AP, you're just going to ricochet. Yeah, sure, uh, heat doesn't ricochet, but... You don't have 500 millimeters of pen with your heat rounds. Come on. Just shoot it in the lower plate with the normal round. Yes, I'm saying sometimes, especially with those really high penetration tank destroyers, it actually makes less sense to fire heat. Like, here's a really good example, for instance. I'm a, I'm a light tank driver, mostly. So, uh, my favorite light tank is the WZ-132. And yes, I've played the other Tier 8 ones. This one is probably the best Tier 8 light tank. People just don't always know how to play it. Um... So here we go, you got your 170 millimeter AP round. It'll pen this tank anywhere. Even if you hit the side armor at uh, at 68 degrees, you will still pen because of uh, overmatching. If, you're, if your gun is is twice that of of the armor that it's it's hitting, which is it's 25 millimeters, you get a, like, I don't know, like a five degree normalization bonus or something like that. So you can still ricochet with like 100 with like a if you were firing a 50 millimeter gun at this but if you have like a massive gun that's over three times the caliber of the thickness of armor you're just going to pen no matter what that's what overmatching is so yeah you'll pen no matter what with ap but but oh i loaded heat as my first round even though i could pen anyone with the with the ap oh oh look at that you're hitting at an 80 degree angle and you're ricocheting with your 170 millimeter 400 pen heat round so yeah it's actually worse to fire at lightly armored tanks with heat than it is to fire with ap same with apcr there's a higher chance of ricochet though it's it's not nearly as bad as heat like <laughs> and that's why like, i'll be driving around like the in like the um in like the uh, Walker Bulldog or something, and then someone, then I get shot by like a heat round from like, <sighs> why? Come on, guys! Like seriously, I know you were you weren't planning on seeing me, but seriously, you're just increasing the chances of that happening. Like if you come across a mouse, for instance, you're like, I better have the heat loaded for the mouse. Ho ho ho! You know so. You got your heat loaded for the mouse, but the upper plate is still like 400 effective. And if he's angling at all, you're not going to pen this shit. So you might as well just shoot the lower plate. But if you're going to shoot the lower plate, you might as well just fire AP because it's got enough pen to do it. Or you could just fire AP into the turret cheeks. It just doesn't make sense how much gold I see. Like I see like replay videos where these really good players have like 30 gold rounds loaded, but it doesn't make sense because it, it would make like. See, I'm not pissed because people are firing gold because. Most of the time, when I get hit by gold in these heavily armored tanks and it pens, they're shooting me in a place they would have penned with normal rounds. So why did they fire the gold? It's just so stupid. Like, I do think that gold would be much better if it was more like the Hesh rounds in the game, where it does, like, more damage at an expense of penetration or something like that. But it doesn't even... It's just so stupid. And, like, I, like, I just can't believe it sometimes. The things I get shot with, especially with, like, auto bounce angles and stuff like that like a lot of the time it's actually worse to fire heat 
than it is to fire just normal AP. But everyone just always has to have the heat loaded all the time. And it's just so stupid. Especially if you're firing at angled armor. But, like, like here's a situation where maybe uh, firing APCR makes more sense. Like, let's say we're driving a T-44. We get really bad matchmaking. We're in Tier 10. And we come across a mouse. T-44's 100mm gun has 175mm of penetration. And I think it's got like 220 something odd penetration with APCR. So you come right on side profile of the mouse, the weakest it can possibly be. It's got 185 armor. So if you get a high roll, maybe you'll pen this shit, but most likely you're not going to pen it at all. Then you could load up the gold, and it doesn't have any angles, so you don't have to worry about shell normalization. And then you could probably pen this with your gold rounds. Though honestly, if I had to fight a mouse in my T44, I'd try to get here to the front. And if you do that, you can uh, shoot up through, not through this space armor, but this bottom space armor, basically into the bottom of the tank, and you can just pen every time. Uh, that's that's a big weak spot on the mouse that a lot of people aren't necessarily aware of. But, yeah, anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, but basically, that that's all I want to say. It's just, like, people need to, like, think more about where they're using their gold rounds. Like, here's a tank that has an insane angle here. It's got a 72-degree angle on the glacis. So, like, you're driving your, uh, your OP T-54 and you come across an FV-4202. Uh, your normal rounds of 200 pen and they ricochet. So you load up your heat round of 330 pen, but you, you still bounce off because it's at a 72 degree angle and it doesn't normalize. If it normalized, maybe you'd pen, but it doesn't normalize. It's heat. It doesn't normalize. And APCR only normalizes by 2 degrees. So if you're driving a medium that fires APCR by default, uh, it's actually bad, but uh, <laughs> bad in some cases. But yeah, the APCR, the muzzle velocity bonus and stuff you get just is better. But yeah, there's so many tanks in this game. Like here, let, let me let me show you one more example. Let's say uh, let's say I'm driving my KV5. This is a notorious gold spam vehicle. I carry four gold rounds in this shit, and I get 3,000 damage most of the time. And let's say I come across the classic, the uh, the IS6. I have an I have an IS6 too. So uh, and I don't fire gold. I think I carry two gold rounds in that one as well. Uh, let's see here here it is is six so you're fight you're in your your kv5 and and an is6 comes up to you and he's like i'm gonna shoot you so then like he shoots you and then he bounces off because his gun has 175 millimeters of penetration he can't pen this shit so he loads gold uh he, he loads up his gold rounds which have 217 millimeters of penetration or 117 no they've got 217 millimeters of penetration he bounces off anyway because this this armor is sloped like you could pen it down here but you could be angling so he might as well have just fired normal ammo at you and hit the r2d2 turret although uh in uh as a side note it seems like a lot of players are not aware that this is a weak spot anymore like i i know that players don't like study this game and aren't super nerds like i am but seriously this is a notorious weak spot to shoot it here with anything and you'll pen unless you're in like a tier 2 tank or something Anyway, so what do we do about the IS-6? He doesn't have this giant weak spot. Okay, so we've got our 107mm uh, uh, round, which has, um, I believe it's got 219 pen with APCR and 167 pen with AP. So we can't pen the lower plate, we can't pen the upper plate, we, we can't even, we, we can like pen the front of the turret like here because it's 150 millimeters if we hit it straight on. It's hard to find it, but it's right around here. Uh, so what do we do? We could we could load the gold, load the skill, but that's actually not going to work because it doesn't really have enough pen. Yeah, we could pen it with gold, especially if we're aiming down at it. But no, you don't need to do that shit. You have a giant tank. It's enormous. Ram into him and shoot him here. This the top of the turret of the IS six. This is the people who who are who are complain about the IS six being OP. Like this is the weak spot. Don't even aim at the cupola. Just aim at the top. You've got it's thirty millimeters. I have a hundred and seven millimeter gun. I'd only need a ninety millimeter gun to overmatch this. You can shoot it at this angle and you'll still overmatch it with this gun. So just shoot it here. And I kill these things all day in my KV-5 because they just bounce their gold rounds off the glacis instead of shooting the R2-D2 turret. And I just shoot the top of their turret. 
it's so easy like the same goes with like the the um like if you're driving uh a uh, Matilda 4. This is a tank that gets massive gripes uh, in the community because it's got shitty pen with its standard rounds. It's got like 86 pen. But its gold rounds only have 102 pen. That's not very good. So like, but it's got insane gun depression. So just drive up to people and shoot the top of their tank with 86 pen. You'll go through. Like, seriously. Don't even bother with 102 pen gold rounds just fire 86 pen you're in tier 5 and you get premium matchmaking it's fine most tanks you can just shoot the tops of them who cares this is one of my favorite tier 5 premiums that's why I like to defend it but yeah th there isn't really much more to say but it's just I see gold rounds just used so inappropriately all the time especially when I'm driving my light tanks like like there'll be like a walker bulldog with his op 10 round auto loader and have like all heat rounds loaded like oh glory be but it doesn't make sense because you're gonna come across other light tanks first dude you're not gonna come across like <laughs> the beginning of all the world of tanks games is a skirmish why would you load all heat into your magazine when you have 175 penetrations you could pen anyone in the sides anyway and then you just come across my WZ-132 that you could pen with your normal rounds. It doesn't make sense. It's just so stupid. You know, I'm not complaining about, once again, I'm not complaining about gold. Use gold all you want. I don't care. That literally, almost every time I get shot by gold, they're either, they're either shooting me with gold and they're ricocheting off because they're hitting an auto bounce angle, or they're shooting me where they would pen if they weren't using gold. So... Yeah, you're just wasting your money, guys. You don't need to carry, like, 50 rounds of gold ammunition. Unless you're driving, like, a, like a, uh, like a 183 or something like that. Because those gold rounds are, you know, like, if you're driving an SU-100Y, your gold rounds do more damage and they have less pen. You can fire those all day if you want, because they make sense economically. But just getting higher pen on paper doesn't necessarily mean anything, because your shells don't normalize as well. And most of the... Uh, tier 10 heavy tanks and some of the medium tanks uh, their armor actually relies on ricochet angles more than absolute thickness the, the tanks that, that gold rounds are really effective against are big flat tanks like like KV-4, you can fire gold at a KV-4 all you want you'll you'll pen it, but it's armor really isn't that good anyway uh, in certain situations you can usually just shoot the weak spots but yeah, that, that's pretty much all I want to say uh, is I don't have a problem with people firing gold. I'm not one of those people. Whatever. You can fire gold. I personally don't really fire gold ever. Uh, I, I don't even really remember firing gold at like anyone. The only tanks I ever fired gold in are like the KV-2 or something just because it's fun to shoot people with AP. Um, but yeah, fire gold all you want. You're wasting half of your money on the gold because most of the time it's not worth it. Uh, but just think about what you're using gold against. Like, don't use gold when you can just pen the sides of people. It doesn't make sense. Your tier 10 heavy tank has enough pen to pen any other just about tier 10 heavy tank in the weak spots, and your heat rounds won't pen them where there isn't a weak spot, so it doesn't make sense to use the heat rounds. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to say. Just a quick explanation of uh, just basic normalization mechanics and why always firing gold is a bad idea. Uh, thanks.